recently you just had a incident um, between you and um, Terrence Gangster Williams, one of the original Hot Boys. Yeah, wow. Uh, what do they call it? OK Kiki, whatever the fucking name. OG Diggity. But yeah, Terrence Gangster. Um, man, I ain't really. It was a thing where basically, um. I was on YouTube, you know, so I be um, on YouTube talking sometimes and shit, but I don't talk. I, I do more music than talking, but, you know, I think some folks was in the comments, they just kept asking me about it because they know I done been to the feds, they know I done been to prison. So they was like, um, what you feel about Terrence Gangsta Wig? So at first I was like, you know, everybody going to have their opinion, especially when you don't been to the feds and you know what's going on. And they were like, at first I wasn't going to speak on it, then a couple of people just kept asking me like, what you feel about tearing gangster weave? So then, um, I basically made a video. I think I was talking about a couple of things, but with tearing gangster Williams, I was just basically telling the people like, I've been to the feds. You did what I'm saying? And um, I don't seen every snitch game you could see. I don't be around a bunch of niggas who don't hide their snitches. They they teach other niggas how to snitch. They some of the best snitches in the world, you know what I'm saying? I even been around niggas who was going home and getting paid to get, like, I don't seen anything you could think of with the snitch gang. So, um, when Terrence Gangsta Williams, see a lot of people on the streets ain't never been to prison or they, they ain't never been to the feds. So, they go off what they see on TV or what they think, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like when he telling people, oh, I just told it on the dead, everybody taking that for face value. But like only thing I said in the video, it wasn't even really me making no shot just at Terrence Gangster William. I was saying how these feds work, how these cracker work, how these white folks work. These folks look at it like if they can squeeze any information out of you, they gonna get all information out of you. When you squeeze a lemon for lemon juice and you trying to make lemonade, you don't rub the lemon in just squeak. You trying to make lemonade. There's actually a, a guy on YouTube now who said that. Uh that he actually testified against him. That he's, and he's alive, so. I got a, it's, it's a video that Taron Gangster Williams gives me a shout out before he got mad with me and say shout out to Nike Boy Z. Nike Boy Z named some men that I know personally and if I run into them men, it'll be big trouble. So I already know what Gangsta, Gangsta Williams got going on. You did what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm a fed beta. I was, I was, you know, bloody Beaumont. Yeah. At Water California ain't nothing but it's her long, Big Sandy, we, uh, 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 um, Terry Hutt, Pollock, it ain't nothing but a goddamn gangster circle. So word travel. It's a lot of more um, famous rappers who they've been having paperwork about for years in the federal system, but it ain't for me to come out here and hate and spill spoiled milk. Time will tell. Mm. One of the biggest people who y'all glorifying right now, they've been saying, <laughs> he finna shot the word. They say it's been word in the feds. He been a snitch. Mm. And y'all idolizing him. Looking up to them, loving them. So y'all just got to stay tuned. You know what I'm saying? Watch the show. But yeah, with Taron Gangster Williams, he basically tried to um make a video. Because I, 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 what I basically was saying in the video was like, one thing about the feds, they ain't just going to want you to tell on the dead. Once they see you a testify and tell, and you a person that don't been around murders, quote unquote, they say did murder, like whatever you say you done did and it's documented or whatever, they gonna want all the information. Mm -hmm. So you gave more than what you taught telling the world that you gave. So he got, um, I ain't gonna say he got upset because Tarrant, he a very level-headed person. You know what I'm saying? But he basically made a video like basically uh, talking about, well, Nike boy, for you to say the feds, uh, for, for you to say I did on told on more than the dead, that must have mean you told. Because how you know what the feds will or won't do? And you had all these followers on the internet Thinking that shit made some sense what he's saying just because they hyped up on he's Terrence Gangster Williams and he getting all these interviews. Yeah. That shit don't make no sense about nothing he said because I know what the feds will do. That mean I must have told. I know what the feds would do because I didn't tell. And I went and did almost 10 years and I have all my paperwork, my PSI, my docket sheets, everything. And, and, and they, it's not like they didn't have a law library in every prison. Right. <laughs> Yeah. And as soon as you Google me, I'm the first thing when you Google. When you Google Perez, man, my whole federal case, my appeal popped right up. You know what I'm saying? So all you hidden seal rappers and all you hidden seal shit, y'all right. Google Perez, man. 
P E R E Z M A N N. Anything you want to know gonna pop up. Mm. State um, mug shots, <laughs> even everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you can't schmuck the real. The real know what's going on. Real know what's going on. And then the thing about the streets is when you real and when you who you say you is, the streets so fucked up. Oh, you clout chasing. When did becoming real clout chasing? When become when 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 has becoming having evidence on yourself? It's clout chasing. So deep. So if the police pull you over and ask you for your license, you got your license. Is the police gonna tell you clout chase? You got proof of you who you say you is. Yeah, yeah. So that's what's wrong with the bloggers. They interviewing a lot of the fake ass niggas, the rat niggas, these under like niggas with just a bunch of flaws and imperfections. They interviewing them and they give them these platforms. And they poisoning the you. Mm. And then the first thing every every nigga who blog in every interview, the first thing they say, oh, I'm a role model, I'm doing this for the kids. So you telling all your gangster stories and your prison stories, and you making the kids, you saying that you telling them this because you want them to learn from it. But what you really doing is teaching these kids, well, you know what? I probably could try my hand and go out here and rob somebody. Or I probably can go out here and try my hand on breaking in this man's house. Because guess what? If all of us get caught, or if the police just catch me, I can tell on my partners, because Terry Gangster Williams told. Because mm. Boston Richie told. Because mm. 6ix9ine told. Mm. But then first thing everybody want to say is, oh, I'm on here just doing it for the kids. You still you still telling them about illegal shit and, 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 and street shit. Mm. You just giving them a way out. So they still going to make these choices. Because they feel like they can tell. Mm. But you're not telling them the whole thing. <coughs> you're not telling them just because you snitch. <coughs> they don't mean that. Hold on. <coughs> I'll dry. Mm -hmm. You can keep all that shit. We ain't true. See, these niggas on these internet and niggas with platforms, <coughs> they just like to tell stories one side. And that's, that's why my music <coughs> catching on. Because I give you the ins and outs. I give you the good about selling dope. I give you about the getting addicted to dope. Going to prison. Like, I tell you about everything, the elements. So when you're making these choices, it ain't just no way, oh, you just finna listen to my shit and we finna have a dope party. No, nah, you're gonna learn some shit. So that's the difference between a lot of these dudes. They not telling you. They telling you it's okay to tell. <coughs> but they not telling you when you still go to prison, <coughs> this shit gonna follow you. And you're going to get stabbed up everywhere you go. You're going to get your food took in everywhere you go. Niggas are going to be taking your pictures of your girlfriend, your wife, jacking off on them, selling them, writing your mama. Niggas going to be treating you like less than a, a bitch. Like, niggas going to be treating you the worstest way when you go to the, 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 the worstest places because you told. So they're not telling you that. These niggas not also telling you, yeah, when you do a crime and just because you tell on the nigga who did the shooting, he not telling you, you still finna get 20 years <coughs> because you place yourself in that crime. You accessory to murder or you set it up, whether you pulled the trigger or not, or whether you were just driving the car or whether you went home and let them do it. Niggas not telling you the real. <coughs> and that's the shit I have a problem with.